Hello, everybody, and welcome to GameSpot Presents Now Playing. I'm Sean McInnes, and I'm currently joined by Adrian Cho, producer from BioWare, and Adrian is going to show us a bit of Mass Effect 2 today. Adrian, how are you doing, my friend? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well. So let's talk about the demo that we're going to look at today. It's roughly 12 or so minutes from the game. It's not like the very beginning of the game as we traditionally do on Now Playing. It's sort of a, uh, a select highlight of the game. We're actually going to go on a tour of the Normandy, right? That's Right, we're going to show you uh, some of the new areas in the Normandy 2. It's actually a much bigger ship than the first one. Okay. I'm going to show you some of the cool areas you can go visit, uh, some of the new features we have implemented. And then from there, we're going to show you, uh, we go to a, a prison ship to acquire a new teammate. And uh, so it's a place called Purgatory. Okay. We're going to fly down there and uh, we'll start, start things off. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and start with our, uh, our guided tour of the Normandy here. So um, where are we right now? So right now, we're actually in Shepard's quarters. Uh, We've actually given Shepard a, a nice personal space, you know, like after killing a bunch of enemies, uh, you know, he's, <laughs> he needs a place to rest. Right. Um, so this is actually a re really unique area because we're able to kind of give the player a lot of information about the ship. Uh, there's a terminal to access a lot of information. Okay. And now this is a, actually kind of a cool thing. There's a, um, this is kind of a cabinet and you, you can, you know, throughout the game acquire like uh, model ships. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of a neat place to um, kind of see all the different kind of things you can collect. Mm -hmm. uh, and right now I think we have uh, the, the newest Normandy in there. You can also see your achievements. There's his computer where he checks his Facebook. Yeah, that's right. Email, you know, mom, I'm doing okay. <laughs> Survived that last battle. Um, this is a fish tank. Uh, you know, later on in the game you can actually get fish you uh -huh. have to feed them. <laughs> and there's actually uh, some other surprises I, I'm not going to talk about too much. Um, here is really cool. There's a new sound system that you can actually go through some of the tracks. Oh, nice. um, so for people who are big fans of the uh, the, the uh, orchestra, the soundtrack, they can actually play it in their mm -hmm. room, kind of chill out, relax. <laughs> this is the armor locker. We've actually improved the inventory system a lot. So in this place, you can actually customize uh, how Shepard looks, both um, casual and in his uh, uh, and in his uh, armor. I guess. Oh, cool. Yeah, so cool. you can switch between all the different armors. Uh, we'll be showing that uh, specifically a little bit later on. And the fish tank, probably my favorite part of this area. Oh, yeah. It's, a, uh, <laughs> it's definitely a bachelor pad. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, this is where all the magic happens. You know, and, uh, <laughs> you know, and maybe Shepard will bring uh, you know, a few friends over later on in the game. So I'm going to jump over to the, uh, different, the crew quarters. I'll okay. show you a bit different part of the ship. So this is the crew deck. This is actually where you can find, um, you know, the, the ship's huge. So obviously you have a lot of people kind of doing all kinds of different jobs on, on the ship. Uh -huh. And you can actually uh, come in and meet with them and, you know, see what they're all about. Here's some crew members talking about their personal lives. You know, a really cool thing is uh, in every part of the ship, you actually get this really good view of um, all the different aspects of the ship. And this is the core. This is actually oh, wow. the heart, the heart of the, the Normandy. Um, and we'll go down there and, uh, pretty soon. But you know, it's pretty cool that you get these little w windows, and so you always get a good sense that this is a, you know, um, a very func fully functional warship. Uh, you know, I'm going to pop into the girls' bathroom really quickly. <laughs> Why not? You're Why there. Not? Yeah. You know, there are no sexual harassment laws in the, what, the 23rd century? Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> if you notice, it actually detected that I was a male and oh. I shouldn't be in there. And that's Edie. She's kind of like the, the brains of the Normandy. So she's kind of saying, Shepard, you know, what, uh, what are you doing in the girls' bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, this should look actually very familiar. The, the, the new Normandy is actually, you know, very much based off the, the first one, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, you know, again, you'll, some areas will seem very familiar. Uh, in here is uh, Miranda. Uh, she's got a private room as well, so you can go in there and talk to her. Uh, and then there's a little kitchen area. You know, dude's just kind of relaxing. Uh, chiropods. But yeah, all together, you know, the Normandy is, is you know, massive. Uh, here's the med lab and uh, some old familiar faces. Mm -hmm. And so between missions, you can go and talk to your squad mates, and that's how you sort of like expand on their characters a bit more than you would find in the uh, the story conversations. Yeah, during the missions, like you, sometimes it's all really about action. You're, you're mm -hmm. busy killing people, so uh, um, this kind of offers you an opportunity to get to know you know your your, your team a bit more. Okay. Uh, we've already Another bathroom. bathroom yeah. 
So now I'm going to pop back uh, down to the uh, to show you the core. So this is the uh, engineering deck. Um, you know, this is where uh, you know this is how the the, the ship runs basically. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you the core of the the Normandy. Oh wow! So this is what powers it, drives it. Uh, Gets you through all the different places and all the different locations you're gonna fly to in Mass Effect 2. Is it is it safe for Shepard to be breathing in that blue smoke right now? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, Shepard's a he's a pretty tough cookie. He's so, a resilient uh, guy. Yeah, but uh, you know, this is a really awesome environment. Uh, you can just it's really powerful. But you can just kind of hear the the engine kind of humming, mm -hmm. and um, you know, you, I, I guess the whole point is you really want to go visit all different parts of the ship. You're gonna meet uh, tons of different characters. Um, you know, and you can kind of talk to your crewmates a bit more. But I'm going to go back up to the flight deck now, and uh, I want to talk to uh, the pilot, uh, a familiar face. So here we're at the CIC, the Combat Information Center. Uh, this is, you know, where you make all the important decisions as Commander Shepard, you know, where you're going to fly off to. Um, uh, you know, here's the galaxy map. There's also the private terminal again, in case uh, you have to check Facebook out quickly. <laughs> Um, you have a new help helper here. Um, I'm going to go talk to Joker really quickly. Okay. You can kind of see, uh, this is really cool too. Um, uh, if you're not at the galaxy map, it actually pops up an image of the ship. It gives you kind of real-time status of uh, how the Normandy is doing, any upgrades you're going to be do making on it. Uh, so we're, we want to feed all that information in, in a very uh, logical way to the player, and also very visually interesting. So, sh so Joker again is at the helm of the ship. I won't have anyone else uh, fly it. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> so he's doing well. He's uh, making sure we fly to all the yeah. right destinations. Bones are just as brittle as ever. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> uh, Joker's... Um, uh, you know, he's he's undergone, undergone uh, some interesting character transformations in, okay. in the sequel as well. So it's not always about Commander Shepard. All you know, there's going to be some recurring faces, and their storylines evolve as well in the sequel. Now, this is kind of like the armory section of the Normandy, and this is where you can you can kind of prep up uh, before your mission. Um, we've actually really fixed and improved upon the inventory system. Uh, we've shown you a bit of the lock, the armory locker up in his room, and this is the weapons locker, and this is where you can actually go through and take a look at all the weapons that you've acquired. Again, here's some new heavy weapons that we've introduced to the game. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a whole lot more easy, intuitive for people to kind of um, kind of go through all the stuff that they collect and definitely all the weapons that they can acquire throughout the game. Here's a, another view of the armory. This is the briefing room. This kind of is the uh, communications hub for Shepard, uh, and this is how he actually interacts with the elusive man. And we've also introduced um, uh, kind of a, a new navigational assistant, and her name is Edie, and she's voiced by Tricia Helfer. And she's gonna kind of tell you know the player exactly you know what room uh, Shepard's in, mm -hmm. uh, what's its function, what you're supposed to do there. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. So that's really good, good you know, for the players who want to find out more uh, about you know, how the technology works, they can investigate. Now I'm on a mission, so I want to go pick up a squad mate of ours, a okay. potential squad mate. That's We're going to be going to a, uh, a prison ship called Purgatory. And there's a subject uh, that we're going to look to acquire. Her name's Subject Zero. And I'm going to go back to the galaxy map and plot a course, and we're going to fly to the uh, Purgatory. All right, let's head right there. No pit stops in the ladies' restroom. <laughs> yeah. It's all business now. I believe it's from Admiral Anderson. So this is a uh, you know, kind of old, familiar galaxy map. Um, we're going to fly in, enter orbit, to give me a little bit of detail about the location that we're going to fly into. If we think this is the place we want to go, then we're going to dock, 